Here with uh, club captain Richard Bunting after today's 3 0 loss. Um, what happened, Rich? Just not good enough. Um, for the first whistle. Um, I can't say it's just one of them games. There's no excuses for it, it's just not good enough. It, it reminded me of last season the, uh, the Bethlehemfield 4 0 loss. Uh, Yet yeah, we, we um, went on to finish strongly in the playoffs. Is that positive to take from today? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, there's no positive to take from the, from the performance, that's for sure. Um, but we go again, you know, we just had a few few own truths said in the changing room, which does no no harm. Um, we'll just pick ourselves up and, you know, it's my Tuesday a massive game for us now. Yep, that's my next question. At least we've got Tuesday to, you know, try and put it right after today's result. Um, Three-headed goals, is that something we need to look at as well? No, I don't think, you know, we go very shit three goals, but I don't think a back or played, played particularly bad, um, you know, it's just sloppy, it was just sloppy all round, we've got to stop it at source, really, you know, we spoke about a few things at half time and then we caused our own problems two minutes into the second half, so, you know, it's just no excuses, um, you're not going to get any excuses from me. Well, not much more we can say really other than uh, bring on Tuesday and hopefully we can get a decent result at Chase Town, because we owe them one from earlier in the season as well. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's about owing anyone any, anything, you know, we've got to do it for ourselves, um, for the people that, you know, make the journeys today, you know, we've, we've for sure we've let everyone down, um, but, you know, it's not all doom and gloom, we're, you know, we're in the playoffs, um, we've got it in us to go on another run, and that, you know, that starts Tuesday. Brilliant. Cheers, Rich. We'll see you Tuesday. Cheers. Okay, thanks, Chris. I'm with uh, Andy Peake. So, Andy, not quite the response we're hoping for after Spalding? No, completely the opposite, mate, to be fair. Um, Conceded too early goal was definitely not in the script for him to start well, um, and it went from bad to worse pretty much. Okay, and a couple of or a few changes bringing in Ollie and Taylor. What was thinking behind that? I wanted to freshen it up, free up a little bit, um, but to be fair, it didn't matter who was up front defensively. The first two goals were not acceptable for me at this level. Um, balls into the box that we didn't deal with, or the first one to get the ball away, never recovered from it. And the second one's a corner, which is her strengths attacking and hopefully defending corners and free header. So you, all of a sudden you're 2 0 down after 11 minutes. It's also a mountainous climb against the team, which are obviously going pretty well themselves. So the surface here is one that um, we've come across before, certainly, but do you think we struggled with the, the wind and the slope in the first half? Does that make it harder? I think the wind played a big factor first half, and so we didn't defend it very well, given two goals, but then. The surface didn't really come into it because we didn't keep the ball well enough. I don't think it matters what, you know, you can't get a better surface for passing it. We didn't pass it well enough, so yeah, that wasn't good enough. Um, then we get in at half time at 2 0, and as bad as it was, I still said start well, get a goal back, etc. etc. So I felt with their set piece delivery, if it was good enough, we could get back into the game because it was a strong win. But then to give them a third goal, which again was a terrible from our throwing, uh, really makes it difficult when it's free. They would certainly struggle to. Um, to get to grips with their holding midfielder number four um, is that something that we'd spotted beforehand or yeah I, I know all about him he sits in front of the back four he wins his head and he tackles but we, we seem to kick too many balls down his throat as well and make it easy for him instead of missing him out um, he's not the best player in the world but he was very effective today but for me it's about us we weren't good enough anywhere on the pitch so obviously uh, three changes made just after the hour mark what was the thinking behind that in terms of keeping the ch shape the same or yeah, we kept the shape pretty much the same uh, because we were getting passed off the pitch anyway, so I didn't want to be too much open. I wanted to have a bit of a go. Uh, obviously, Ben Ford come in there to get him on the ball. Had to take Ben Favre off because he was on a yellow card. He'd have another altercation with the ref, and equally, he's got a sore toe. And at that point, I wanted to make sure he was okay for Tuesday. I didn't, didn't feel it was worth risking him and making it any worse, to be honest. 
Um, got Shanks a bit of a breather, getting abs back on the pitch. Obviously, all established players coming on, and you, I think, if you don't change it at 3 0, when are you going to change it? Yeah, Any closer with Callum coming back or Rory? Callum trained the other night, and done most of the session, he felt a little bit towards the end. Uh, Rory done the session, as did Jamie Tank, but both of them G, so it wasn't a good decision to bring on. They should both be available uh, for Tuesday, which will strengthen us up and give us other options. Um, so we've got, we've got to be positive, we've got players coming back, we've got good enough players, we just performance wise, it's got to be better, we've got to work harder because that wasn't acceptable today for me as a manager. I'm disappointed with that, I think they let me down, the players. Um, and I mean, Biff, I think they let us down, I think they let the fans down. Um, we've just had a good deep chat and we've got to get out of this rut, we've missed, you know. 10 minutes to go against Spalding, things look rosy, or 20 minutes to go, all of a sudden the game is a bit on, things don't look so good, but every team goes through, it's just how quickly you get out of it, we've got to go Tuesday, we've got a massive game now, another massive one, and we have to turn it around sooner rather than later. Yeah, I think from last season certainly we had a bit of a blip in February and uh, finished strong with the, with the playoffs, so I certainly don't think it needs to be doom and gloom, is that fair? No, it doesn't have to be doom and gloom, it hurts when you play like that and get beaten so easily, um, you know, it hurts me, and I think it hurts a lot of players, but... The bigger picture is you've got to look at it where we're sitting, all the teams have got to play each other, there's a load of points to play for, these have got to play two, Spawn have got to play teams all in and around us, so it's about us getting airship and oil, which at the moment isn't. Um, so first thing for me, we've got to turn that round, get ourselves picking some points up, and there's still plenty of time, but we need to turn it around sooner rather than later, we've got loads of tough games coming up. Wonderful, thank you very much Andy, look forward to uh, Tuesday night. Cheers. I don't need love.